Oh, we got a nice angle going on there, don't we? Yeah. I got to step like, back here. I feel like I have to squat down. What's up, guys? To get in there. <laughs> All right, we got to find a better, better yeah, spot. We got to find something a little taller. Here, on the on the walker there. Get something to brace it. The Joby pod. What's up, fellers? All right, hanging here with Fall River. Trying to get the camera placement going. How's that? Is that better? Much better. Much better. Good morning. What's up? What's up? Rain? Yes, it's raining here too. This is Kevin with Fall River. Hi, guys. Anybody who doesn't know, he came down to hang out for the weekend. Golly, those messages go by so fast. I know. Can't even see them. We're doing pretty good. Oh, oh, oh we got a slippy. Slippage. We need a, a better method. Sorry, hold on, guys. There we go. There. We're a little bit out of aim. <laughs> Stand sideways. What's your number? Uh, it's all over all my videos, <laughs> yeah. man. It's, all, it's pretty easy to There's find. really no need for me to give that out because it's all over every video I've ever <laughs> shot pretty much. So, rain, rain. Yeah, we've been getting, you getting a lot of rain? I've uh, been getting a bunch of rain the last couple of days. Yeah. Luckily for us, it's raining on Saturday, and it's supposed to rain on Sunday. It's not raining during the week this week, so uh, that's kind of lucky. So I left, what was that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Andy. Didn't realize, <laughs> didn't realize they were doing one, or we probably wouldn't have done this. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, anyway, so what's everybody doing? Oh, man, Whoa. did you see all that? Whoa. Comments just went, whoo. <laughs> little lag there so yeah we're just hanging out kind of uh kevin got to eat some freddy's for the first time yeah i never had that place uh so I've, I've seen a couple comments now about the giveaway uh we are going to announce the winner of the giveaway tomorrow afternoon on a live video so stick around for that that's when we're going to announce it um yeah we do have a winner Thanks, Aaron, Alfred, Allard. Sorry, he was going by so fast, I didn't get it. But anyway. I don't read that fast. I don't want to keep slowing it down. <laughs> yeah, Freddy's is the bomb, man. I love Freddy's. I talked him into steak getting the. Steak and shake uh, all the way. I'm not a big fan of steak and shake. We actually have that down south. I talked Kevin into getting the uh, value meal with the cheeseburger and the hot dog. I, I didn't. Hey, did you end up eating all that? No. No? I didn't even eat half the hot dog. I wasn't a fan of the hot dog. The hamburger was pretty good. Yeah. I love Freddy's, but I don't like the fact around here they stopped putting the uh, little spices on their fries. you got to do that yourself, and it just doesn't turn out quite as right as it used to. Do you all have five guys here? Yes, five guys is the bomb. Yeah. yeah. That is probably the best burger I've ever eaten. I love five guys. Me and Albero need to weigh in. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> no, we do not. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do not. Less talk, more walker. More walker. Well, we're not oh. mowing right now, so I don't know what to tell you. The phone's sitting on the walker. Does that yeah. help? <laughs> you can't see it, but yeah. <laughs> uh, we're announcing the giveaway, the winner tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. We're going to do a live video tomorrow. Chevy flatbed. Yeah. I see, I see that comment a lot. Yeah, the flatbed, it's still kind of, it's still sitting outside. Uh, still got to get the leaf spring fixed. Uh, and hopefully we can get that done here pretty soon. So, what's up, fellas? Skag for life. That must be for you. Yeah, for real. For real, though. Get rid of these walkers by Skag. Oh. Uh, what was you saying earlier? <laughs> I don't you, know what you're talking about. What was about? you saying? I, uh, I, I can't didn't remember. Say, I didn't say anything about the fact that I kind of liked Walker. <laughs> you kind of like it? <laughs> <laughs> I would never say that. Yeah, me and Albero, we do, we do need to do uh, another weight loss. I, I need to for sure. You mean the gallon challenge again? You know, seriously. Bring back the gallon challenge. I need to do that. I really do. <laughs> I really do. Oh, I thought that was Blake for a minute, but it's Brown Brothers Lawn Care. Premier Landscape Management. Yeah, I've heard of them. Oh. What's up, Chant? What's going on, Chant? Sorry, guys. I was getting a 
getting a phone call. I think it might have been from the person who was asking for the number earlier. Please don't call during live video. You please. watched the videos, didn't you? <coughs> Found the phone numbers. Please, please, I beg you. Do you do er anything ever together? We're This is kind of a new thing for us. He lives eight hours away from me. Uh, he was... I'll, I'll tell you the whole background story real quick. Uh, the weekend that Chant came down, visit, visited with me, uh, Kevin was supposed to come down that same weekend. Something happened. He couldn't show up. So we kind of, you know, been talking about it, and now he's here. So this is the weekend he chose, and we're gonna we're just kind of kind of hang out. We haven't even shot any videos. No, and it's gonna be a super quick trip here and back. So I got to get back to mowing. Yeah. Talking into using Skag. Yep. Right what? There. I didn't Use even see. Skag. I didn't see no, that. No, no, look, wait. we gotta go back. I didn't see yeah, that right comment. There, right there. Use Skag. <laughs> I do see a Skag in my future. Hey, but I. But like I will it. not stop using my walkers. I, I will admit, I do like the walkers, and I would really like to have one with a catch on it. Uh, Chance says it's gonna snow Sunday and Monday. That's insane. It's like I left Arkansas this morning. It was 80 degrees. Got here and it's 50 degrees. Yeah, it's pretty chilly out right now. I actually, I took Kevin around to show him some of the properties we mow and he's like, oh, I know that one. I know that one. <laughs> uh, Sorry, somebody else tried to call. There's no way to stop that. Yeah, there's no, I don't know how to stop it because they use, I use my, I can't put it on uh, airplane mode because then I won't be able to go live. Oh, because you won't have your network. I won't have my network, so... <laughs> you can't stop the phone calls. I can't stop the phone call. I guess I can, can, I, can I do it on Do Not Disturb? I don't know. I don't know. I please, no please don't call. <laughs> please. I beg you. I beg you. <laughs> Makes it very difficult. But... Uh, Mufasa. Right there. Ah, there's the guy! Mufasa, <laughs> you're the guilty one! <laughs> stop calling! <laughs> All right, take over. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You're gonna leave me <laughs> with your people? I gotta go to the bathroom. He has to go to the bathroom. So it's just me and y'all for right now. And of course, nobody's gonna ask questions now. I don't know which way. Uh. I know where I'm at. We can't leave. Uh, we can't leave grass in the bags. The city just doesn't pick it up. I don't know about here for him, but it may be the same thing. Man, I'm sorry. It is so hard to go through these comments. Uh, my favorite weed eater lately. It's been the 2620. Uh, I've actually been picking that one up over the uh, Shindawa lately, and uh, it's just, it, it's been my go-to weed eater is that 2620. I like the power that it has. Uh, I know on Brian's channel, it's a lot of steel people, so y'all may not like me anymore now. Am I going to buy a dump truck? Not right now, definitely not. Uh, I don't really need one right now. Uh, our dump doesn't let us bring grass in like Brian's able to bring his grass in. So, so <laughs> I don't know whether to talk now or not. I don't, I don't know. know whether we're being filmed. It's the same guy that's whether, called a couple times. But, but, but uh, our dump doesn't let us in. And uh, like he's able to get in. So that kind of throws me off that I, that I can't take that stuff in there. What do you think of a female in the industry? What do I think? I think it's awesome. I do too. I think it's awesome. I've had, I've actually worked with, uh, it was my aunt, uh, my, my old job I used to work for a part-time mowing. She was my supervisor and she could, she could mow circles around most guys. Uh, not me of course, but I'm just kidding. She actually was a lot faster and a lot better than me. So, uh, but what the heck? Did we lose connection? I don't know. I think we're still here. Okay. Oh, I think we lost it and it started a new one. It says live for 10 seconds. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Hey. So, camo for live, shout out. Good mower for a 13-year-old. For a 13-year-old? Uh, I, I don't know. It just all depends. What? I mean, it's hard to tell 
it's down. a thirteen year old to go out and buy a five, six, seven thousand dollar mower. I just don't know. I mean, uh, if you got five or six grand and you got enough accounts, I mean, I'd say go for it. But yeah, you know, if you're just starting out and you don't have a ton of money to spend, go to Home Depot. Uh, Troy built. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good good push mowers. They worked pretty well for the freak. Answer your phone. Well, quit calling me. <laughs> I'm on the live. I can't. I can't do that. Are you using office in the shop yet? Are you using the office in the shop yet? It was Danny Lanier that tried to call me. He just left a voice. What a <laughs> what a dork. <laughs> He's trying to mess up my live video. I feel some YouTube Danny. sabotage going on right now. I can't pick up the phone. <laughs> Braden Lowe, shout out if you please quit calling. <laughs> I'm nine years old and have a 2017 Turf Tiger 2, fourteen thousand dollars. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good man. job, buddy. I've never used a Simplicity. Have you? Never tried one. Hmm. I'm gonna shut this overhead door here. I get a little loud. I gotta back up the truck. <laughs> Let's get windy. I kind of want to try out one of those new, uh, the, the ones with the tracks on it. Yeah. Hey, I, I'm giving Mark your phone number. So, it's getting pretty cold in here. Actually decided just to go ahead and pull it outside because I'm going to be driving it home tonight. So. Uh, they said we should prank call Andy. Ooh, that would have been bad. Oh, oh. <laughs> that. Just, just about fell in the drain. <laughs> I just about stepped right into that. That would have been awesome. Oh, I that would have been good. Yeah. I felt my foot start going down and barely <laughs> saved it. Sorry, trying to get it set back up. The grass flap. My opinion on the grass flap is I love it. I just put one on the 52. Uh, I didn't film a video about it, but uh, I posted something on uh, Instagram that I put it on there. But uh, I love them. I mean, to not have to take your hands off the controls to open and close that thing. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Where's the strippers? Where's the strippers? <laughs> oh, well, uh, yeah. I'm not even going to answer that one. At the strip club. That's where they are. <laughs> Making all the money they can. No, I've never used Thumbtack. Yeah, I don't do that either. Uh, they call me all the time. I just tell them no. I did get Rock Auto, rock auto parts for my truck. What was your first mower? My first mower was the 36. The Skag. 36, the Skag? The V-Ride, yeah. Because it, it came with the company. Well, I guess you could say it was that and uh, the Xmark 21-inch push. First mower I ever bought was a... And see, that's the sad thing. is like you don't know if you're on or not. Well, it says going live. I don't know. I, I know. I don't know if we're live or not. I don't know. I better... More phone calls. Yeah. What was that? Top notch. Andy said, "Eat is pizza." He's live. Okay. Okay. Well, all right. <laughs> Not sure what that's supposed to mean. What's up, Cody? Slocum. So, so what's new in uh, Fall River World? <laughs> Nothing. Lots and lots of mowing. I haven't been making any videos lately. Why not? Between rain and uh, the new website has got my phone ringing like crazy yeah. I've, I've picked up several new clients i've been doing a lot of landscaping this year a lot of which is not major stuff just like trimming shrubs putting in mulch things like that so with all that i've been staying busy and i've been doing it all by myself i, I haven't been hiring work or help this year what are you trying to say that uh i work harder than you <laughs> <laughs> well, you might you might you might you might work harder than me uh, no. He showed me a bunch of his properties. It's kind of neat to see the properties that um, you see in the videos. 
And there were several times we'd pull up and I'd be like, ah, oh, I know that one, or I know that one, I've seen that one. But there was one. There was one yeah. we there was one where he was turning the corner and Kevin's like, Oh, I know that. I know that house. And I was like, Yeah, I don't mow that house. <laughs> it, it looks like one you mow. Yep. Then, uh, yep. Going to the GIE this year. I'm yep. excited about it. We've already booked our uh booked our room. <laughs> what did that say? Said Kevin Cut and Clean said call him since Top Notch can't answer. <laughs> yeah. Shout out. Brian, can your boys drive the walker? Uh, Tyler doesn't like the walker. He likes the X mark, and he drives it really well. Uh, Tyson, he, he can drive the walker really good. He actually, last year, he actually mowed my, mowed my front yard by himself when I was down the block. He did really good. Uh, he, he drives the walker really good. I'm, I'm right outside of Wichita, Kansas. And I'm right outside of uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Yeah. I do a lot of mowing in Wichita. <laughs> Mufasa, is that you again trying to call? <laughs> <laughs> you ever use a remote control walk behind? No, but I've seen those remote control ones. And uh, I actually saw one in Memphis not too long ago. There's a uh, big hill right next to the river. Mm -hmm. And they were out there using one of those. It's head tracks, and there's just a guy standing there. <laughs> Look, Kevin, you want to pop? Oh, yeah. It would have been nice if he had offered me one. Hey, wouldn't it have? I told him, make himself at home. There's a fridge in there. Go get what he wants. <laughs> what mods do you got on your truck? Uh, it's got a leveling kit on it. That's about all I know. It, it was on there when I got it. I haven't done anything to it. Um, I'm not a big uh, gearhead or... I don't really care about all that kind of stuff. I just want it to run and drive and do what it's supposed to do. So someone just asked me a question. Kevin? Uh, zero turns or walk binds. You know what? I've never used a walk bind. Really? Never. Never used a sulky, none of that. Can, I would probably can, fall can, flat on my face. Can we like, I mean, are you classified as a true professional if you've never <laughs> used a walk behind? I'm seriously. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> but I've never used yeah. one ever in my life and i really don't want to to be honest with you i mean to me it just looks uncomfortable and difficult walk behinds are they're a good niche mower uh they're i mean i loved my turf tracer i mowed with it for two years uh loved it striped really good just a little bit slower than what i wanted uh they're very very good on hills and i was telling kevin that when we were out looking around um but uh it's, they're good mowers to get into when you're first starting up because yeah. they're you can get you can find some cheap ones that are really good mowers and and i actually did look at them whenever before i bought fall river and i was just looking for equipment mm -hmm. that was kind of what i was looking at and it was actually because of greg i mean that's what he was using so yeah i mean so <laughs> i was oh. just like everybody else i watched him what do you do when you got to take a piss at work uh i try to i i, I try to find you know those little spots <laughs> like but you got an enclosed trailer uh, and I have done that. I have. I've. I've had that to would do be that. my number one answer if I had an enclosed trailer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, honestly, it I have a funny story about that. I know a lot of you guys have seen the video where I had the the five gallon bucket in the truck. And so we won't we won't go there right now. But the other day I was out mowing, and uh, I really had to go to the bathroom. Usually what I do is I just climb in the back of my truck. I take a cut back there. I climb in the back of the truck. Windows are very tinted. You can't see inside. Well, there's a guy walking his dog right by my truck so i i walk over there to go hop in the truck and he's like not moving like the dog is they're just standing there on the sidewalk and i'm just like <laughs> so what i do is i pretend to like retie my shoes and i'm just kind of trying to find something to do around the truck so i'm not just standing there and he wasn't moving and i really had to go so I just hopped in the truck and took my cup and I went to the bathroom. I don't know what else to do. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to do. That's just the way it is. Are you putting a dump on your flatbed? Is that on your other truck? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Uh, if I get a dump truck or a dump bed, it's probably going to be a dump truck. Uh, I'm not going to modify the one I have. I just don't, I'm not sure it can handle it, honestly. That was a good question. Will your boys be working with you? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, they will. When when school's out, they'll be uh, they'll be working, and they still mow. Uh, they help me with the neighbors uh, a little bit, and uh, so yeah. Does Tyler have any that are just his? Uh, no, not this year. Uh, he did last year. Now the neighbors across the street, uh, they're pretty much his. Um, you know, he mows them, uh, but you know, I, I trim them out and edge them for him, but. I'm hoping with the... Uh, Can you tell that story? How's the actor kid doing? Yeah, I'll get to that here in a minute. That's a good story. That is a good story. Um, but yeah, Tyler, Tyler they're, gonna, they're still going to mow and stuff and do all that kind of stuff this year. And Tyson's actually uh, really, really intrigued, uh, wanting to make some money. So that's, that's really good. That's why they came and worked with me last weekend, because they both wanted to and they wanted to make some money. Now, the actor kid, okay? <laughs> uh... Try not to make this too long of a story, but he worked with me last year, and uh, uh, just one day out of the blue, he just stopped showing up. And that's not like him, because we were actually working on a really big uh, short story, short film, and we were we were both really excited about it, and we were just getting ready to start. Then all of a sudden, he just stopped showing up. I couldn't get a hold of him or anything, and I kind of got a little bit worried, so I kind of did some searching on the internet, and pulled his name up and I found that he's a he's a runaway uh from Nebraska and uh but he was 18 years old and the article where he said he was a runaway uh was it was like it a was, year old it was kind of old by that point he was already 18 so uh I'm not sure what happened to him he just kind of went on maybe he went to uh maybe he went to uh California like he was talking about what was that one yeah, you may want to skip that one. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to skip that one. Yep. <laughs> what waff, waffled do you have? Am I reading that right? Yep. Nah, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I don't. I, my, my boys eat waffles for breakfast. I don't, but they do. <laughs> is the RBG 712 worth the money? I believe it is. I believe it is. Honestly, that's made a big difference uh, with us this year. The cut quality we've noticed is is, uh, is better. Um, we just, and yeah, it's really good. I love it. How many yards did y'all do a week? Go. I'm doing uh, about 25. I have no idea. A whole, a whole lot. <laughs> I have no a idea. I have no idea. It's, <laughs> it's, it's up around, it's probably a little over 100, but I saw, honestly, I haven't counted. It's hard, it's hard to justify my yards as you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because when you pull up and you do five in a row, you know. Does that count as Does that one? count as five or does that count as one? You know, uh, it's hard to tell. But I would say it's probably equivalent to is about it, 100 yards. Is it every time you move your truck? Does that count as a new location? If that's the case, I got about 30. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so, can you ever try Toro lawnmowers? You will be happy. Yes, Toro. Very, very good. Very good. Yeah, the only reason I didn't look at Toro's whenever I was looking at a new mower was because where the dealer was. I mean, I, I really, the two I had to look at was uh, John Deere and Skag. All right, you want to? You wanna... <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> is that Jeffrey? Jeffrey. Is that Baloney? Baloney? I don't know, but I notice you, man. Uh, I really notice you. We both you. noticed I you. I notice you. <laughs> especially, especially that comment. Uh, have I tried Grasshopper? I ha I, have, I have not. I've never. I've tried. seen some guys using them around my town. I I never have. So, uh, the favorite walker it's it's my GHS. It's my forty eight GHS. That the cut quality on that is just it's second to none in my opinion, and it just saves us a lot of headache and time. So, how many tree jobs do you do all year? I don't do any tree jobs. I did one or two last year, and I got, yeah. What dip do you like? None of it. It will rot your lip don't, off. Yeah, that's stupid. And <laughs> it will kill you. I, I'm actually glad he brought that up. I, get I, the, I, I think you should just throw it away right now and quit. <laughs> All right, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I, I never, I never acknowledge the questions about what I chew or anything like that. Obviously, you guys know I do. And... Trust me, it's a bad habit you don't want to get involved with. Uh, just stay away from it as much as you can. I'm addicted. Find a way to quit. I, I, I just haven't quit. I don't know what else to say. 
He needs to quit. I'm weak. And what y'all need to do is help him quit. Oh, man. Come on. Just stop. get on there and just pound him in the comment section about quit dipping. What was that one? I don't know. How What's long it? have each of No, wait. I want Mark's reviews. I tried dip in school. Gross. Smoked for a lot of years. Quit in 2011. Well, good for you. Kevin, sure can. Yeah. What's up with sure can? Nothing. Why? <laughs> they, don't, they don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a mutual feeling. <laughs> yes, I remember when I cut down the, the three trees. Uh, that was horrible. Dip is gross. You're right. It, it is. is. Disgusting. He put some in in the truck earlier and almost gagged. All right, let's see here. Joshua Hall. He always has good good things to say. Always good comments. It makes you think a little bit. When I go to the GIE, I get excited about all the mowers. Yet, when I get home, you have to deal. You have dealer support. Closes Walker dealer is one and a half hours away. I mean, yeah. that's that's obviously a struggle. That's obviously a struggle. <laughs> Who is Fall River? Yeah, I want. Who is Fall sure. River? He, he's the man behind the glasses. Fall <laughs> River is a guy from Arkansas who started his business. Uh, what three years ago? This is my third season. Three years ago, and when I he got laid off it. from his I job, he bought his business, and he's been doing it on his own ever since. That's Fall River. Flooding in Arkansas. Yes. Yes, there is. There's a bunch of it. Yep. I have been Hello kinda... from Australia. I love it when the guys get on here from Australia. What do he say here? How long have you been doing YouTube? I've been doing YouTube. This makes my second year. This would be my th uh, third year. Why did I stop my gym? It's Honestly, I just don't have no time. I know that's a weak excuse. It really is, but... It's the honest to God truth, guys. I, 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 I get three to four hours sleep a day. That's that's what I get, and um, it's hard to find an hour to go to the gym. Grass monkey wants to meet up. Come to the shop, grass monkey. What type of blower do you prefer? I prefer the seven seventy from Echo. I've never used it. Um, I do wish. I wish now that when I got my product from Echo, and you kind of get to choose a little bit, I wish I would have chose the blower. <laughs> Fall River put on the glasses. <laughs> Luke Bryan's Luke in the Luke Bryan right here. No, it's Luke Ryan. Oh, I'm Luke Ryan. It, it's, it's Luke Bryan's little brother. What did uh, Grass Monkey say here? Let's see here. How long are you going to be there? Well, uh... you, could, you could turn on your phone, Dennis, <laughs> and... Uh, you, you know, if we're still in the live video, then we're just keep here. coming, man. <laughs> if we cut it off, just turn around. <laughs> we're probably going to be here for probably another hour, I would say, at least. He does look like Luke Bryan. I get that a lot. And uh, and I actually hashtagged Luke Bryan the other day because I want to see if I get some free tickets. It didn't work. Walkers, good or bad on tall, wet grass? Uh, they're good, man. Uh you know, the only trouble I've ever had with a, with my walker clogging is in wet grass when it's very tall and you're trying to cut it really short. You can't take, you know, 8 to 10 inches of wet grass off at a time. It's going to clog. Most things will. But, you know, if you're mowing it at 4 inches, 4.5, four something like that, it does fine. Sorry, I saw someone say that they were from Benton, Arkansas also. Yeah. I don't know what their name was, though. There it is, Gray. Gray Cassidy from Benton, Arkansas. Huh, what's up, man? If you ever see me around town, stop me. Say hi. How's the Chevy flatbed? Yeah, it's still, it, it, it runs and everything. It just needs, it needs a new leaf spring. I saw it. It's outside. I can, I can vouch for him that it's actually still here. I prefer a backpack blower. Yeah, I like the backpack blower. I've got a little handheld that I'll like take with me whenever I'm doing mulch, things like that. It's great mm -hmm. for just blowing that mulch back into the beds. Yeah. Uh, warranty on walkers. Somebody asked that. I believe it's three years. <laughs> sing me. No, you do not. Come on, baby. You do Come not on. want me sing, to sing. sing it's not going to happen. Sing. No, sing. No, no. It's not going to happen. I, I, I don't sing. I'm going to have to change the title. It says Luke Bryan <laughs> sings to Top Notch. <laughs> Luke Bryan at the Top Notch headquarters. 
If you, if you, maybe if you picking stuff to put in the truck to do an extra lift up, and maybe if you fill up to it, do more push mowing than riding. I'm a fatty, but I'm working on it. I hate push mowing. I'm gonna be I, honest I, with you. I, I don't push mow unless I absolutely. Yes, yeah, sing, don't. sing, no, sing, everybody, no, come on, no, come on, no, sing. No. Oh my god. Yes, yes, <laughs> sing, 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 sing. It's not gonna happen. There, there is no. Singing. You are disappointing is, 100 people right there now. There is no singing that comes out of this human. Oh my goodness! I may look like him. I sure don't sound like him. I, I'm not even sure oh who you are God. anymore. Look at I know. It. Sing, I sing, can't. sing. I can't sing. Do you have a Luke Bryan song on your phone? No. Bull crap. Pull up, pull up Luke Bryan YouTube on I, your phone. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get him to sing. No, we're not gonna get me to sing. It's not gonna happen. Just, just like wait, two. wait. I'll, I'll pull up the side by side picture. No, I'm not I, gonna I sing. hear a song. It's not, you want to hear a Luke Bryan song? You don't know who Luke Bryan. I know who Luke Bryan is. Well, I want You've heard him. I want you to sing. And with I don't him. sound anything sing with like him. him. No, it's not gonna happen. Oh man, I don't sing. I thought this was gonna be a good live video. Oh my god, man, I'm so disappointed. Holy crap, <laughs> you started something. <laughs> <laughs> say something. Anybody say anything else other than sing? You will sing whether you like it or not, Dylan says. <laughs> <laughs> sing, damn it! <laughs> like every comment is nothing but sing. Well, that's what the hundred that's what hundred and five people want to see. They no, want to see Kevin Luke Bryan sing. Trust me, they do. <laughs> no. I'm one of them. No. Boo. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, wimp. wimp, yes, yes I am. I don't sing <laughs> at all. Oh man, I'm so glad I don't look like a country singer. <laughs> it is so funny to me that I hear that so often. And and like to me, like looking at it side by side, I don't see it. <laughs> look at Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, That's funny. I want a refund. Yeah, I would too, man. Yeah. This is a horrible live video because the the if I sing the hundred and five people are gonna leave. I I'm gonna I'm gonna rename this, <laughs> hanging out with the non singing Fall River. The non singing Luke Bryan. How about that? G I E. Yes, sir. Yep. We're already booked. We still need to book our flight no, though. I gotta get a flight. No. We gotta do that soon. New green touch racks. Thoughts? I haven't seen. Them. I haven't seen them yet. I'm actually supposed to be getting a set. Did I tell you about that? Mm -mm. Yeah, they're going to send me a set to try out. And I really want it because I want to put them on the trailer because we need to hold more equipment. And I haven't seen them yet. Yes. <laughs> getting some beers. Let me go check the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Even if it kills our ears, who cares? Exactly, we're all friends here, right? No, no, we're all friends no. here. We're all just hanging this out. This is forever. This is forever. No, I, I promise you. If you bomb and everybody makes fun of you, I'll delete the video. <laughs> <laughs> if you change your business name to Luke Bryan, might pick up more business with a singing afterwards. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Luke Bryan Long Care. Yes, that's the new name. <laughs> Bryan. Yes, I will get his autograph if he's. I'm recording. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's awesome. Did your aerator work? I haven't got it working yet. We haven't picked up any more aerating jobs, so I haven't really bothered with it. Gravely. Gravely's are good mowers, man. I, I've never used one. I, I, I rode one at GIE. No, I've never used the S14. I'm thinking about getting, the, I think it's the S19 with the 36 inch deck. Uh, it's probably a long ways in the future, but uh but eventually i do want to get one do you sing while cutting grass sometimes yeah but then nobody can hear me over the mower so it's all good would you like to meet baker's lawn service is he if, where are you baker's lawn service? that's that's not it just says would you like to meet him sure. i would like to meet anybody are you coming to gie we'll be there yep walker is the best no skag is the best hey Maybe we can get them to sing at the GIE. <laughs> you know, downtown, they got the live. Tennessee. You know. yeah. What part of Tennessee? Any tips on starting a business and getting clients? 
Any tips on what? Starting a business and getting clients. Pintrack's good. Uh, the thing that's helped me the most is uh, the Google ad. I get more calls off of Google ad than anything else. I get more calls off my website. Website's doing really, really well. Uh, so. Yeah, I, I've ended up being like number two on the Google My Business. Yeah, I'm number two town. here in my little city that my shop is in, and that's really, really helped. I've get, gotten a lot of calls from that. Yeah. I, I got the report the other day, and it's been viewed like 900 <laughs> I was wondering when somebody's going to say something. It says I'm looking really old today. Look, look. I have not shaved my head in like probably like two months, and <laughs> all the all the silver is coming out. You know, I've been trying to be nice ever since I got here. Yeah, my daughter. <laughs> it's weird to see you with hair. I know. My daughter really wants me to shave. Honestly, this is the longest my hair has been in. I'm not even gonna lie, about 20 years. I was shaving my head right out of high school. How's the skag? compared to the X-Mark. I've never used an X-Mark, but you've used both. Yeah, I just demoed the Skag. Uh, it's kind of hard to, you know, drive around for 10 or 15 minutes. Arkansas. Uh, That's where the phone number was from. All right, we're back. Had another phone call. How many lawns do you do on a regular day? Uh, anywhere from five to eight. Depends on the week. If it's gonna rain, I'll start pushing and try to get more done. Start shifting that schedule around. Raider Lawn Care. I don't. I've never used Bobcat. Have you? Mm -mm. <clears throat> never tried one. Do I have a goal of when I want to quit my job? Yes. <clears throat> right now as soon as possible <laughs> uh honestly what i'm looking at right now is uh next next spring i would like to uh quit my job hopefully i can do that but we'll see i think somebody's here have we been on here that long that dennis is here he's already here has, have we been on here 25 minutes all right it's time to get off why did, oh i guess it starts over yeah. every single time i'm not sure we might have like six videos up be there in 20. 20. You said that 20 minutes ago. Thoughts on Dixie Chopper. Never used Dixie Never Chopper. used Dixie either. I've seen them around town. There's a few people that use them. This is something uh, Brian and I were talking about earlier. That uh, He sees a lot of walkers around here. And I'm starting to see more and more skags around my area. Yeah. I think it, I think it kind of goes on, uh, you know, your, your region, your, your area that you're in. You know, we have a lot of walker dealers here. Three Walker dealers. We have one Skag dealer that's kind of out of town a little bit. Um, I mean, I've said this a number of times. You just don't see very many lawn care guys around here that do not have at least one Walker on the trailer. You just don't see it. And that was one of the first things I noticed looking around, which the grass here stripes so much better than what we have in Arkansas. What'd you say it was fescue here? Mm -hmm. So it, that fescue, we have a lot of Bermuda in Arkansas and it just doesn't stripe as good. But uh, you can see that third wheel walker stripe going all over this town. I think I pissed Massimo off. <laughs> I missed it. Oh, he's only said that comment like 12 times now. Block. Is that how you do it? Oh, I'm trying. Ha! <laughs> Got rid of that guy. He's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> You need to have a meetup. I do. I do need to. Have, I was actually thinking about that, having a meetup here at the shop uh, with a lot of the Wichita guys, guys around here uh, in my area. Um, I just, I just haven't done it yet. Uh, I was kind of wanting to do it before the season started. I know everybody's busy and uh, whatever, but you know, maybe at the end of the year we'll get together. I thought about bringing the grill up here and kind of hanging out and eating some burgers and hot dogs and just. Chit chatting with lawn care guys. Thanks, Corey. Appreciate that. I hope you're talking to me. I think he's talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Josh was right. Four inches. You know, that's that's one change I've made this year. Uh the first three years, I, I've never talked about this, but I, I I mowed most of my stuff at three and a half. And this year, 
it kind of happened by default because we got a lot of rain early grass really sprouted and uh so i was mowing everything at four inches and now i've kind of just continued that because i like it i like that look it stripes a little bit better um you know and i just i think that's going to help throughout the season keeping it at four inches versus three and a half we are going to announce the giveaway winner tomorrow afternoon probably somewhere around i don't know sometime tomorrow afternoon uh we're going to announce the giveaway winner on the on a live video which channel I don't know. I think we should do my channel. You think so? <laughs> so you better be subbed to my channel. Or you're not going to know if you want. <laughs> well, if they're, if they're entered, they're already subbed. <laughs> Hi, gamer. Hi, gamer. Look, we've only been on here for four minutes and 30 That's seconds, it. it says. Get him, Mark. Get him. I haven't seen you. Yeah, there's been a couple more. Oh. So. I wish people could see how fast these things go by. Yeah. All right, I'll start blocking. Bye. Fall Did River, you, you getting a shop? Am I getting a shop? No. I, I would love to have one. Uh, my hopes are that my wife and I are going to try to get a new house with some land, and I want to either buy a house with a shop or build a shop. I'd like to have the shop at my house. Yeah, that's kind of my goal as well, is to get some land. I would like, you know, I wanted five acres, but I kind of want 10 now. Yeah. I kind of want a little bit more. I want to have my, you know, my house and everything, and I want to have my shop in the in the back, special driveway to my shop, kind of have it separate like that. And the thing I like about it, also having your own land, is having a place to dump. Oh yeah, that would be so and awesome not for me. Have to go somewhere. Oh, that would be so, that'd be like just, heaven for me. I mean, just right there. Do a lawn care shout out. What kind of weedy rat do you prefer? I do not fertilize. What was I the question? Weedy rat, which uh, I know yours is green touch. Green touch all the way, man. I, you know, I have the enclosed trailer, so I don't have to have the protection that he has to have. So I use like just a basic one with no locks, no nothing. Bye. How long did it take for to get used to the walker controls? It takes, honestly, I, I think I've said this before. When I first started mowing with a walker, I hated it because it was just so different. I, I hated it, but I didn't have a choice because I was working for a company. That's what they had. I had to get used to it. And, you know. I think Walker will tell you it takes a good, a good five hours to get comfortable with the controls, and I, w I would pretty much agree with that. I could see that. It, the, the day I tried one, it was, it's, it's completely backwards to what my V-Ride is, so it was, I was constantly pushing forward instead of pulling back. You know, but it, in my opinion, it takes a lot longer to get 100% comfortable to where, you know, you know where the box is when you're turning and things like that. Like... I mean, I, I've seen on some of my videos, I'll, I'll rewatch or something where um, I'm mowing and like I come like that far from the house in the box. And that's just because I, I just, I can feel the box back there. <laughs> what? What are you laughing no, at? I'm laughing at you, the feel the box back there. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you just know it's there. <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. They know what I'm talking about. No, I don't fertilize. I didn't even see that one. Yeah, I, I really didn't want to do that to him. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I bag everything? Uh, X Mark has a box. That's the navigator. One of the reasons why I bag everything is because they require it. So they they want me to bag all the fronts at least. Uh, so that's why I do it. But uh, I do bag yards that I'm not not required to. They don't really don't care if I bag or not. But uh, honestly, it's, it's just easier. Uh, it's easier. Um, I don't have to blow everything off. I don't have to worry about grass spraying everywhere. I don't have to worry about a lot of stuff that a lot of people have to worry about when they don't bag. And I've just gotten so used to bagging that it just, it just honestly, it makes my life easier bagging. Have you ever tried a navigator? Mm-mm. 
I've, I've talked to some people that have used them, and I've heard a lot of complaints nope. about them, like breaking down and things like that. I looked at them uh, when, uh, when I was first looking at buying a new mower. I looked at Navigator. I, did, I never test drove one. They shot me a price that was, uh, if I remember right, it was about the exact same as a Walker. And I just thought, why would I buy a Navigator when I could buy a Walker? In my opinion, it's a more proven uh, company with that type of mower. They've been doing it for years and years and years. Navigators are pretty new. And I'm just going to go with a more proven mower at that point. Y'all should be asleep. It's actually it's only, what, 9 o'clock? It's 9 o'clock here. Well, I am getting old. <laughs> <laughs> 9 o'clock should be my bedtime. <laughs> Essentially, is it worth it to start a channel? Is the money Ooh. good? Yeah. All right, <laughs> let's get into the good questions. <laughs> the, is the money good? Uh, no. No. It's decent. It, it it will get there eventually, but it, it takes a lot of time. Uh, trust me, I've wanted to give up many, many times, and this guy right here has talked me out of it. Um, it just gets frustrating sometimes. Yeah, it's frustrating, and, you know, I've said it many a times. I'm, I'm lucky with my channel. I just, you know, for some reason, mine kind of took off, and other channels that are, I think, that are better than mine just – hasn't and i really don't know why um i've told kevin for years that he makes better videos than i do but for some reason i get more views i don't know why uh it's kind of the luck of the draw so um you know if you're fortunate enough to you know get some decent views you can make some decent money obviously if you know you got a big channel you can make a lot of money but i mean we're not we're not talking about life-changing money either way for me or kevin but it's nice. It's okay. It's a little extra cash here and there. As some would call it, it's beer money. Yeah. And that that's about what it is. I haven't made enough to pay for the cameras yet. <clears throat> Thanks, Benjamin. Appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, I do too. <clears throat> I appreciate you watching. I would love to come to North Carolina. That's one of, that's one of the places I really, really want to visit. Because I'm a big golfer. I don't get to golf much now, but I want to come to North Carolina and golf. i seen it. <laughs> that was I, I, didn't, I, can, I couldn't help but kind of laugh at it. Uh, yeah. I, it's creative. I'm going to leave I'm it. I'm going to leave it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, one, that, one, that one's got to go. Now you're gone. Now you're gone. Now you're gone. Sorry, Bye -bye. buddy. <laughs> you know, now you're just getting kind of sicko. The first one was kind of funny, but... <laughs> uh, what was that uh, one? Sorry. It's because of your great personality. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I try to be as honest and as truthful to you guys as I can. Uh, there's some things I'm not going to share, but you know, you guys know me. You know, I'll I'll tell you when I mess up. I think you're the same guy in front of the camera that you are behind. You think? I, I've, I've never felt like you were any different. That's good. And that's kind of what we all kind of strive for, honestly. Uh, you know it. I know a lot of times you kind of, you know, I've seen other people, they kind of try to take on a different persona when they're on camera and, uh, you know, and that's cool, but you know, that's, just, I'm, I'm not that talented. I just, I can only be myself. Do you want a bigger crew? I, I just want a helper. That, that, that's my goal right mm. now is to get to the point that I can have one guy helping me out. I do want a bigger crew. I want I want more. Um, this year has kind of fed me a little bit as far as kind of I want more. I want more because you know I was talking to Kevin about it. You know the the way we're getting things done this year um, is just so much faster than we have in the years past. I um, mean we're knocking out properties. I mean not to brag or anything, but the other day we did almost close to fifty properties in one day. And, you know, granted, a lot of that's all in one area, but that's a lot with four guys, and, and we knocked it out. We just, I just got some good guys. You know, Albero's the man. Uh, Jesse, you know, he's he's probably better at everything than I am. And we hired a new guy, and he's working out really, really well. So, you know, 
you're only as good as your crew is, honestly. You're only as good as they are. And if, if I can keep finding good guys, yeah, I would love to expand some more. I'm kind of curious on this question. What? He asked, how do you find your guys? I, I'm curious how you find Craigslist. Uh, I don't, you know, I've tried, uh, oh, what's that online one? Uh, but I just find them on Craigslist. And, you know, in my opinion, you're going to find maybe one out of ten that might be a halfway decent guy. Um, that's just the way it is. Uh, you know, sometimes people are unemployed for a reason. Uh, and you find that out real quick when you, when you bring them in to interview them. But, uh, you know, some guys, you know, they're, they're great guys, you know, but they just don't, you you just kind of feel that they just don't have, uh, the experience or anything to help you out. So, uh, you know, you just kind of have to get lucky and pick the right guys. What was that one? Yeah. I've reached out to Brian on more than one occasion, and he's been an inspiration to help me as best he could. Yeah, I try, man. I, you know, I, I try to get back to everybody. You know, I get some calls and I get some emails, and sometimes I just don't have the time uh, to get back with you. And I, I, I feel bad when I when I don't get back to people, but sometimes it just happens. Look at Long Care Millionaire, and he is making eight million a year doing Long Care. You know, it's possible. It's very possible. Uh, I think it's harder now than it was when he started. I think there's just more lawn care companies out there. Uh, the The field is more saturated now than it was 10 years ago. Uh, but it doesn't mean it's not possible. And that guy, is he's a legend. Make money like me. Well, okay. Got it. Bye-bye. See you later. Nice picture, though. <laughs> I import my workers from Mexico. Well, <laughs> good okay. luck. Good luck. Fall River at Connor. Gold disc. I've never heard of that. Oh, that's oh, a, that, the, yeah. I'm not. A, never used it. I don't want to knock something I've never used, but I just I'm, I I don't need it. From what I hear from guys, it's good when you're starting a new edge when it's really overgrown, but I don't have that problem right now. <laughs> An enclosed trailer with a bathroom. That would be awesome. That's when you know you've made it. When no, you... no, no. Your enclosed trailer is your bathroom. <laughs> so it's already there. <laughs> yeah. You just need uh, Sorry, ball. Walker MC 42 through what did I say? A Walker, 42 inch, $3,100, 2,000 hours worth it or too much. Uh, you know, I paid around that for one that had more than 2,000 hours when I first started, you know. What's your favorite size mower? Uh, man, that's a, that's a toughie. Honestly, I'm going to go with a 52. Um, you know, I, I think uh, one of the mistakes that I made and I talked Kevin out of doing is buying a 48 and I think you know most yards around here I can't get a 48 in the back anyway so why not bump it up to a 52 yep I, I love my 52 and my 36 setup I, yeah to my, me that's the in perfect my opinion, setup that's the perfect setup if you're doing a lot of fenced in backyards that's the perfect setup in my opinion yeah, Arkansas it's the majority of what we do is fenced in backyards unfortunately a bunch of these guys have started making these 30 inch gates Oh, man. It's horrible. Remember, I don't understand why they're doing it. Did you ever see any of my videos when I had the 34-inch uh, or 33-inch Gravely walk behind? No, nah, I didn't watch your old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't watch your videos, Brian. But anyway, uh, man, I, honestly, I wish I wouldn't have got rid of that thing. But there was a couple fenced-in backyards that I couldn't even get that thing in. We had to pick it up and put it on its side just to get it in there. Roasted. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I get for assuming, right? <laughs> <laughs> 30 inch and a 52 yep. yeah, it, that, it all depends on great. it all depends on what you got i mean if you got a lot of small yards you know that i mean it just all depends uh so thanks blue payroll w2s contracts 1099 when when did it come to an employee in your business in arkansas we can't do uh subcontract we can't have subcontractors seriously if they're using our equipment well yeah they're an employee now if they have their own equipment yeah, i yeah. can sell them out yeah i can 1099 them yeah 
Yeah, that's the way with everything. Okay. Yeah, you just, you know, the the difference is the employee, you know, you they use your stuff, you kind of control their hours, things like that. A subcontractor, they kind of do it with their own equipment, and, you know, that's kind of the difference. So, let's see. Man, I have at least four lawn companies that I live close to me. Competition is, yeah. Yeah, competition is bad, and I see it at the beginning of every season. There, there's like ten new lawn care companies in my town. But one thing I've noticed is, is uh, half of them, as soon as it hits a hundred degrees outside, they're gone. My phone will start ringing again. Yeah. Echo or steel? Steel. Echo. Steel. Echo. <laughs> I'm forty. Somebody just pulled up. Oh, it must be Dennis. All right, it's time to get off of here. <laughs> Don't let him know we're here. <laughs> Dennis. I don't know where he's going to fit in the picture. <laughs> be like, he's going to be like, head right he's going to be like, can I get you some airtime, guys? <laughs> uh, for, for you guys that don't know, Dennis, uh, he's Grass Monkey Lawn Care. He lives in my town. He lives in Wichita, Mose in Wichita. Um, pretty good guy. And, and there he uh, is. Yeah, he's here. But so yeah, I'm not sure what he's gonna do as far how's as going, man? <laughs> Dennis, how you doing, buddy? How you doing, man? Say hi to everybody. What's going on guys? How we doing? So I don't know who I don't know how we're gonna do this here. I don't know either. Cause I can't see that little bitty writing from the, this far back. Where the three amigos. What about giveaway? We're announcing the giveaway winner tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. What's poppin', Dennis? The menace? <laughs> That's that funny. <laughs> That's funny. Do we need to find a new uh, new spot for this? Because I'm not going to hold this very much longer. Fixed rate or hourly rate for your yards? Fixed rate. Like Fixed rate all day long. Will it tuck right into there? Well, I'm trying to get this. Trying to get it to where it's a bigger picture. You, know, you should invest in like a phone stand. Or well, I don't do these very often, and then you know, I'm 12 and mow 15 yards in Kansas. Here, get it up here. Sorry, guys, we're kind of restructuring. There here. we go. There we go. That's better. Now I can't see the. I like riding. I like being in the middle anyway. <laughs> I do have a selfie stick, but we wanted to get away from that because you guys know how much I like to walk around, and you guys would you guys would be dizzy by now. Yeah, where's the beer, Dennis? Yeah, we gotta go get it. What? <laughs> it's a long I thought drive you were bringing here. it. <laughs> you're, you're gonna come here and not bring beer? Three musket. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's, that's the funny ours. thing is, is you almost, almost said read it. it. Almost said you it. You almost read it. That was pretty good. But I'm gonna leave it because yeah, that was that was yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good. I don't agree with you, but I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> I love that you almost read it. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Uh-huh. What what you drink? You got Mountain Dew? Maybe they were asking what kind of beer you drink. Oh, Keystone Light. Sausage Fest, I'm out of here. <laughs> well. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Hey, they were asking where the yeah. strippers were at earlier. What beer? Well, they're down the street. <laughs> <laughs> I told you they were at the strip club. <sighs> so what beer What, what beer do you drink? Uh, I drink Kurz Light whenever I drink, but it's not very often at all. I like all kinds of different stuff. I like to find the microbrewery type stuff. I love dark beer. You're one of the weird guys. Yeah, I love the cream stouts. What about you? I mean, you got to like chew the beer. Bud Light or Coors Light or Keystone Light. Back in my... Younger days, it was just whatever was on sale. Curs light is for girls. Yeah, I'm a girl. I didn't, I didn't get that. <laughs> Somebody's drinking some Coors now. Now, Coors is a good light beer. Easy to go down. Kind of watery. <sighs> Let's see here. I can't read back there. A while back, you were having a commercial made. What happened to it? Honestly, I've dropped the ball. I've dropped the ball. I need to make it. I have all the footage. I just need to make it. I just haven't done it. Mad Dog 2020. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that brings back a lot of memories, honestly. <laughs> that was so cheap. 
My my chief beer that I used to drink was Pabst Blue Ribbon. Oh, I hated that stuff. That stuff's horrible. It was cheap. It's cheap. Puerto Rico, what's happening? Yeah, honestly, I should I should have already had it made. It's my fault. I take all the blame. What's your opinion on enclosed trailers? I I really like my enclosed trailer, but it can be a hassle, especially like on mulch days. Because uh, I can't put mulch in it. And I've got to take a whole bunch of stuff out of one trailer and throw it all in the bed of the truck to get the mulch in my mulch trailer. <laughs> I don't know what he's replying to, but I bet it was kind of funny. I go by the same motto with women. <laughs> it's whatever's on sale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sing. Oh, we're back uh, to that. Uh, no. Diesel or gas? <laughs> I I run gas. I I have my first diesel mower. I like it. Does the enclosed trailer allow equipment to cool between you know, jobs? You know, I do have that issue sometimes. Uh, I actually put a, a thermometer in my trailer last year, and there was a lot of times the inside of that trailer would get to 100 degrees. Extensive gardens. That's either – that's one of the uh, – I guarantee you that's uh oh Andy and those guys. Uh I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Lisa said, What is this stream about? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. We're lawn care guys, but Where's the weed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dennis didn't bring anything. No, none of that. <laughs> no beer, no weed, no nothing. So what's up what's up with you, Dennis? Not What's much. going on? Not much. Busy, just like you. Yeah. Phone's ringing. A lot. Good. A lot better than last year. Uh, things are off to a strong start. The ring-a-ding is in here. What? What's up, Brian? There's a guy I'd like to meet, too. What's up, Brian? Ring-a-ding-a-ding. -a -ding. Andy and Lanier are still alive. It's 18 thousand too much for a mower what mower cost 18 grand yeah if you're in canada that's probably cheap does dennis want to pop you want to pop dennis <laughs> i got one <laughs> he doesn't offer to anybody <laughs> hey man they know where the fridge is at serve yourself it's not like these guys i mean it's the first time kevin's ever been here but so you know, I haven't, uh, the last time I had a scan, everything came out pretty good. Uh, I still have a tumor in my back, but uh, other than the pain, there is no growth. There's no living cells in it. Does Dennis want to dip? Oh no, we're going <laughs> to, your phone's going to die. Really? It's at 20%. Oh, that's good for another 10 minutes. Uh -huh. So you get 10 more minutes to ask questions. Keep up with that. It's, it's, it's hard. It's very hard. And this is slow right now. How you doing, Grass Monkey? What's up? Are we doing extensive gardens? How you like your website? I don't know who, who you're asking. I don't know. Anybody. I, Whoever I, wants to answer. I think all three of us like ours. I, I have an awesome website. I need a better one, but it works. The live videos are the best. Glad somebody. I'm glad one person likes them. <laughs> <laughs> one in a million. Oh, that's a good question. What's up? How much did debt play in a role in your startup? You know, with mine, I actually self-financed mine. Uh, I left a uh, really good, or I didn't leave. I got kicked out of a really good job, and uh, I ended up self-financing my my company so i've actually already paid myself back uh for me debt plays a huge part in starting a business uh that's the whole reason why you don't start out with everything that you want you know you don't start out with all the all the mowers that you want and need because you got to kind of work your way up you know i started with one new mower my walker and then i had the uh turf tracer that i used for two years and i bought that thing for like 2500 bucks used and that's what that was my setup for two whole years you know obviously that setup isn't going to work for me right now so i kind of had to you know work up to that but what do you think 
Uh, debt. Uh, I was lucky enough to uh, have enough money in the bank to pay cash for about uh, 60 to 30 percent of my equipment, and then I had to finance the Gravely, which is now sold. Mm -hmm. And then I'm still in debt, though. I mean, it's it's not cheap to do this, guys. If you guys want to get up and running and take it seriously, you got to put some money into it. And sometimes you have to finance your, your yeah. equipment. And I, you know, I don't think debt is bad in a business, but you do have to be careful. You know, you get in uh, get in over your head, and all of a sudden you're not making money. You're just paying off you know mowers and stuff so right. you got to be careful but debt is not bad for a business you gotta you gotta upgrade your equipment if you're if you're picking up new clients and stuff you just have to does walker offer zero percent uh i think so because i was able to get my my 52 is financed zero percent so yeah. i mean i make a payment every month but i mean I, i've thought about just paying it off but at zero percent yeah i look at that as free money yeah, see, I got my 52. I went through Sheffield, and I got... Uh, yeah, with one, Sheffield. Yeah. They just answered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same for Skag. I was through Sheffield also. I think okay. Sheffield. Okay. Free money. Yep. Yeah. So. 0% is always free money. So I saw you saw, I'm going to notice, you uh, notice all the walkers around here? Yeah, they're everywhere. <laughs> Somebody did ask, do you run a walker? Yeah, one of 48-inch uh, 2006 walker with uh, 2,500 hours on it. Hey, Brian, somebody wants to know truth or dare. <laughs> Who are you asking? I think they're asking Brian. This is Brian, so... All right, I'll go truth. There you go. I haven't lied about anything, so I'll go truth. Let's this is see easy. what you got. Who was it? can't believe we're grown men playing truth or dare, but it's... Where was it? It's down. Oh, did I miss it? Yeah. Ecuban, 28. Okay. Thought we were... Walk behind. <laughs> Get on the walk behind. I want to. Uh, he doesn't have a walk behind anymore. I would try it yeah, if he I had one here. Yeah. If he still had the turf tracer, I would get on one. I'd probably smash my face into the ground, but hey, it'd make a good video. Kevin started another lawn care challenge. What kind of challenge could you start? Golly, I don't know. That one took off so crazy. I I could not believe how far. You got that a part one of that, went. didn't you? Yeah, I was in on that. That was a good good challenge. How do I like my website? My website has done awesome. What? A comment from John Cena. <laughs> Marry me, <laughs> please. <laughs> okay, John Cena. <laughs> Just don't beat me up. I haven't seen anybody ask a truth yet. Yeah, well. We're pretty far behind at this point. There we go. We're caught up now. What was that? Do you like your skag? Yes, I love my skag. I think it has great cut quality. It's okay, comfortable we've, to ride. We've been asked this a couple times. Best two grand lawn setup with rider. Two grand? I don't know. What, what rider? <laughs> Craigslist. <laughs> I wouldn't think I'd go rider. Go stand up. <laughs> or walk behind. Yeah, I think you'd have to go walk behind at that point, wouldn't you? You know, on eBay, but you could walk behind for twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300. Mm hmm Yeah, you'd have to go Echo on your weed eaters. Yeah, because they're cheaper. Because they're, they're not as expensive. Yeah, isn't that the definition of cheaper? Well, I, cheap sounds <laughs> sounds bad. I like uh, I like yeah. inexpensive. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds better. <laughs> open or closed? Open. I like my closed trailer, but I've never used an open one. Yeah, honestly, it all I, depends. I mean, I bag a lot of grass, so an enclosed trailer doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me. I like the fact that I don't have to unload my equipment. Yeah, because I don't have a shop. And, I like that too. Yeah, you have a shop, so. <laughs> but before, when you were at the house, you had yeah. to unload every, every single day. day. Load and unload. And I don't have to do that. I just bag my trailer up and I'm done. What about mulch? I like I, I've got that mulch trailer. Oh, that's right. That I built. Yeah. I've got like a little. I done my grass at a local uh, farmer, if you want to call him that. Uh, he has he has a big compost pile, and he takes all the truth. Do you have any? <laughs> did you have any idea what you were doing when you first started YouTube? No, I did not. I uh, seriously did not have one clue. Had no clue. If you I go did, I did a lot of, and this this is the honest to God truth. I did a lot of studying, just like. Just like when somebody is trying to start a business, they study on they study other people, how they did, how they started, things like that. I did the same thing with YouTube. I watched other channels, I seen how they were doing it, I kinda I, I critiqued everything 
and I did a lot of research on it. That's how I started my channel. Truth, were you insured or licensed when you started? Yes, I was. You know, whenever I very, my very first start was before I bought Fall River, and no, I was not, but as soon as I bought Fall River, I was licensed and insured. Ford or Chevy? Chevy. I've got a Chevy, but I wouldn't mind trying a Ford. Honestly, I wouldn't either. Do any of the you guys dip? Only the nasty one in the middle. <laughs> How do you know Dennis don't? I don't know. Nope. Dennis, do you dip? No. Nope. Yeah. So I was right. Only the nasty one in the middle. <laughs> so make sure you hit his comment section and say stop dipping. Hashtag stop dipping. Anti monkey butt for gold bond. I actually understand that comment. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to explain? No. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> Thank you, you Nick. Either a skag or right standard. Why don't you buy either a skag or a right standard? Uh, I assume he's talking to me. Yeah. I think he said Brian, didn't he? I yeah, Brian. I don't need one. 10%. I'm going to go find a charger. Be right back. You guys take over. I'm going to go find me some dip. Best budget riding mower. <laughs> You're going to try to find some dip? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to do lawn care. Did you always want to do lawn care? No, actually, it's something I really enjoyed doing on my own. And uh, I was in a job where I really wanted to get out of it. I thought if I was going to do something I wanted to do, it would be something I liked. So I, that's why I chose lawn care. I just love it. And, I, yes, I am solo. For me, it was... Uh, you know, I, I'd always wanted to be an entrepreneur and trying to find something that, uh, sorry, I'm going to try to get us plugged in here so we don't die. What are you doing back there? Hey, Is there a plug-in right there by the locker? Stop dipping. Mark says so. Mark's reviews? Yep. He knew exactly who you were, Mark. What kind of dip? Nasty stuff. Kawasaki, Kohler, or Briggs? Kawasaki. I, I like my Kawasaki's. And I like that my uh, 52 and my... 36 use the exact same oil oil filter the whole bit so it makes maintenance really easy mm. You know we're gonna announce the uh, equipment giveaway tomorrow afternoon So y'all will have to tune in tomorrow afternoon to find out who won <laughs> Nobody likes a quitter <laughs> <laughs> Exactly <laughs> We like quitters that quit nasty habits that can kill you. Best form of advertisement. Wow, it just got really dark in here. What's your best form of advertisement? Uh, I think it's just word of mouth is the best. It's free and uh, means you're doing a good job. Uh, my best advertising is probably my website. Uh, I think that's helped me more than anything this last year. long care good career what do you think about that I, I think it is I, I've really enjoyed doing it the more I do it the more I enjoy it um, I think it's like anything else as it grows it, and and you start making a little more money a little more money it makes it a little more easy to get out there every single day Man, it got cold out there that's yeah, it's chilly it's 42 out there <laughs> rehab is for quitters <laughs> How can you make it only on lawn care? More yards. Just keep going. What's up? Do you like Shindawa? I really like my Shindawa weed eater. I, you know, until I got the 2620, I, I wouldn't put it down. I went out and bought a 230 and I used it one day and put it on the rack and went right back to my Shindawa. Are you hiring? No, I wish. You hiring? Nope. Good weed eater string. Husqvarna. Titanium <laughs> Force. Can you spell that for us? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I've been trying out the uh, Echo Black Diamond stuff, and I really like that. Before that, it was the cheapest stuff I could find on uh, Amazon. That's what I use. It's the best I've found that works for me. <laughs> wow, what do, is that? Do you like <laughs> I think I put it, I think I put that in my videos all the time. <laughs> yeah. What's my favorite Disney movie? Hus Barner, that's how you spell it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you spell it this way. <laughs> what, what's your favorite Disney movie? What's my favorite Disney movie? I have no clue. Toy Story. I do like Toy Story. That is a pretty I don't know if that's one. a Disney movie or not. It might be a Pixar. I don't know either. Review of the Diesel Walker? I like it. We broke a belt though, but I like it. What do you guys mow in? This guy mows in shorts. Yeah. Khaki pants. I do khaki pants and a t-shirt. Pants are for weenies. <laughs> I guess I'm a weenie because... <laughs> call me Oscar. That, that stuff hurts. I will say this though. I, I, I edged a new property Friday and I was grimacing every single pass because <laughs> it was hurting. Would you run a John Deere? I do. You do? Mm -hmm. You got one? Got a 36 John Deere commercial. Uh, I wouldn't do it just because of the dealer in my location. I don't, I don't care for the dealer whenever I went in there to look at the mower. Um, I saw right away that they were not going to take very good care of me. How many hours are on your mowers? Lots. Oh, all right. Lots. The 48 <laughs> Walker has, um, I don't know. It's about 900. Um, the 52 back there. It has it's a little over 300 now. <laughs> what? Dig <laughs> That's Pixar, not Disney. I'm offended. <laughs> Have you ever m messed anything up weed eating? <laughs> yes, I have. I've, I've actually hit a, uh, the air conditioner wire. I've broken a couple windows. Oh, I just answered that one. Didn't ever, even know it. ever break a window mowing? Yes, I have. I broke a an insert, the ones with the blinds in the middle, and that thing was like three hundred dollars. I was just replace. telling you this story the other day. I broke a a window at an H and R block that was about eight feet tall, four feet wide, oh. and I hit it, and it kind of went, started cracking, and it took about three seconds, and it went. Whoa. Okay, truth. Do you ever have an annoying customer who watches you the whole time you cut the yard? Yes. <laughs> I had one just this past week. It drove me insane. Door. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't read it out loud, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh. my, my, my favorite one of those... Is I was watching a comedian, and he, he was like, uh, I can't remember the name of the comedian, but it was 20-something years ago, where he's like, the gardener comes over, and he knocks on the door, and he's like, you got any water? And then all of a sudden, you hear the music, mm -mm. bounce, chicka, bounce, bounce. <laughs> then he goes, oh, come on, he could use the hose. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> My comments came up like five times. Uh, they're all the same questions. Best way to get new customers. Uh, I'm a firm believer of the website, man. Uh, with competition nowadays, people use the internet to search for companies. You gotta have a website that's ranked and that's a good way to do it. I don't think he still mows. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be either. Which walker is a diesel, Brian? I got a new 52 inch rear discharge diesel. Not new, but I traded a mower for it. How about the one with all the dog crap all over the. Go back. Right there. Smell it from the front of the. Yeah, I don't like that one either. That's why they heard the train. <laughs> you guys heard that train? Man. You got some good ears, or I got a good phone. Is this in Fall River, Massachusetts? No. No. Golly, I've gotten way behind. Man, what are you doing? How much is your insurance? What was that go back up? 
How much is your insurance? Do you want to say? Uh, I think mine's like seven hundred a year, and that's for two million dollars of uh, liability. I'm honestly not sure how much mine is. Mine runs uh, four forty. For, a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just for your business. Just for the business, the truck is also insured under business, also. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to trying to think of all the mowers and everything. Well, that's mowers just my liability. That's not my truck. No. My truck's outrageous because it got stolen yeah. and it went up like my even more. My business insurance is not that, not as much as your guys'. It's pretty cheap, actually. I get I get the hook up. Yes, I do still have my night job. I work third shift. What's your thoughts on Craigslist ad? You used Craigslist a lot, didn't you? I did my first year, and I kind of ran away from it since. Um, I just use word of mouth, my website, and just trying to keep my business on the first. Page I would assume on Craigslist you get a lot of, hey, my yard's two feet tall. Uh, I just want to mow one time, but I don't want to pay very much. That type of customer. You is get that about, true? Yeah, you get about uh, if you, for every I would say 100 phone calls, you're going to get about five regular customers that you really want to have. I don't even know what a PlayStation or Xbox is anymore. <laughs> How many commercial properties do you have? I have three. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Yes, I've used Red Max for one whole season. Never used them. Yes, I remember singing Uptown Funk in the truck. I'm not afraid <laughs> to sing like somebody is. Oh, man. Let's not start that again. You don't have any, Dennis? Oh, commercial accounts? Uh, I have uh, four. What business insurance? I'm not even sure what it is anymore. It, it had to get all switched around last year because of the truck getting stolen. I had so many issues with that. My insurance dropped me over the truck getting stolen. Did you know I have a shiny head? <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> I, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so bad anymore. Let's find, a better, <laughs> let's find a better spot for this so we can kind of like maybe sit down. I'm afraid to take it upstairs. I'm afraid we're gonna lose connection. Somebody else has a bald head. Who? I don't know. I just saw I have I got a Scott. Here, push that closer. There. Oh my goodness, that's so much. But the thing is, I can't read it. No, I'll get I'll get I'll get right here. Ever been to Alabama? Yes. <laughs> Look, I do have hair coming up. Look at that. Yeah, you got some little fuzzies up there. <laughs> <laughs> Brighter than your future? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Who is the guy on the right? This guy? This Me? guy or this guy? Your right or my right? My right's Fall River. This is... Uh, Grass monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say Dennis, but I Dennis Grass Monkey. Both of these guys are on YouTube. They got good channels. Sing, please. No, it's not gonna happen. Yes, I've been to Salina. They have a nice water park up there. Do you support the farms of American women? I, oh, where's that? How's the V ride holding up? It's holding up really good. Let's see if anybody notices. Is that better? Now you can't see my face because it's all uh -huh. in the shadow. Look at that. See if you can see your reflection. TN! And that doesn't stand for Tennessee. Does not. Who can tell me where this hat came from? This is not your normal hat. Who can tell me? Fall River make that hat? Yes, he did. 
Do you know what video it was from? What was the name of that video? How to vlog like. Uh, How to vlog like notch. top notch. He made the. <laughs> yep. That's the hat. It's going on the uh, going on the on. wall. Yep. No way I feel. <laughs> now that's where it's gonna go now. <laughs> Shake the camera. How to vlog like top notch? I don't care. That a boy. That's the one. That's why we had to set the phone down. If not, Dennis and I'd be chasing him around, <laughs> trying to stay circles. in the camera. He wants you to make him a hat. <laughs> it's made out of uh, construction paper and um, and hot glue. That's all it is. You trying to say they can make their own? Yes. It's it's quite easy. Glued on top notch. There you go. I like that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, you know what would be funny? Is if a bunch of guys at the GIE are walking around with a construction paper top notch hat on. <laughs> <laughs> make the, the top notch make it yourself hat. <laughs> Let's see the wall. That was... Uh... Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I can't... <laughs> I know. I feel stupid. It's the baseball coach. I'm afraid to take it upstairs because we might lose connection. I've watched that video so many times. Thank you. Keep watching it. All right, let's go upstairs. Okay. If we run out, we run out. It's kind of time to get off anyway, right? Works for me. All right, let's go upstairs. You want to bring the charger? All right, guys, we're going upstairs. Let's go see the wall. Dennis? Did you bring anything for the wall today? No, I should have. No beer, no nothing, no wall. Yeah, just brought my smiling uh, face. Not sure what we're going to do with that guy. All right, so here's the wall. Here's all my shirts right there. Got a lot of shirts. The room's not that tiny. It's kind of kind of decent size, actually. Alright, so where are we going to set this at? I have no clue. I don't even know why. I don't know. Do we need the extension cord? <laughs> is there no plug in over there? What phone is that? iPhone? I know, but which one? 6S. Here. Can you take your case off? No. I've got the battery case. What do you mean? It's a battery pack. Here, plug in right there. I'm not sure where we're going to. That ain't gonna work. All right, we're having difficulties. Thanks, guys. The, uh, the, the wall came out really, really good. I appreciate everybody that sent anything to me for the wall. Uh, yeah, I love, I love the way the wall has turned out. Very, very cool to walk into this every day, seeing the shirts, all the stuff. Very, very cool. Jared, shout out. I can't see anything anyone's saying from here. <laughs> the room might cave in. That's a possibility. <laughs> it's not that poorly built, but it's probably not up to code. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> So what do we, we go back down there, or what do we do here? Whatever you want. I think it's probably time to get off. Probably best. All right. We'll be back tomorrow, though. We will be back tomorrow. We're we need doing... to find out who won. We're fuzzy. All right, back yeah, connection. Yeah, it's going to. All right, guys, we're going to get out of here. Uh, we'll go home, go to bed. Thanks, Dennis, for coming over, hanging out for a little bit.